all right hello guys welcome back to another video so you guys know how i like talking about tiktok challenges well actually i kind of don't but i kind of do as much as i say i dread watching videos of like cringe tiktok challenges <laughs> I think I'd say I like doing that. But yeah, this video isn't gonna be exactly about a cringy TikTok challenge. This video is gonna be more specifically about a challenge that is relatively new. And I mean, if we think about it this way, I would say this is an innocent challenge, something that isn't like super harmful or super bad. But you know, it's like, we can't have good things around here, or at least on TikTok. Now, before I get into the details, you guys have probably heard of the TikTok challenge, the Orbeez challenge. And basically what the Orbeez challenge Challenges is where you take this specific Orby shooting gun like it shoots the Orbeez and they shoot pretty fast And I mean to be honest this challenge like it isn't very clear about exactly what it is But what a lot of people and news outlets are talking about right now are exactly what I just explained to you Where they'll basically take these guns load up some Orbeez in them and then basically go around shooting people with them And yes before you start asking me all these questions about how oh is this dangerous or what? What makes this bad? It's just Orbeez. Well, I'm just gonna say this. As far as I know, these Orbeez fire pretty fast out of this gun. And as far as I know, it can be painful because some people have gotten shot by this and it basically leaves like big red spots all over the area that was shot. Now, I've never been hit by one of these before, but at the speed that these things are coming out of the gun and flying and hitting people, it looks like this thing genuinely hurts like an airsoft gun. Maybe not as bad as an airsoft gun but they fly fast enough to the point where they'll leave marks on your skin if they hit your skin so they hurt as far as i know but it's not like something that's gonna like injure you or cause you to have to go to like the hospital or the emergency room or something like getting hit by a few of these is not going to cause you to have life threatening issues but yeah i just wanted to show you guys a video of what this looks like so here it is Gotta move. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I think you guys can see what I mean where it looks very painful because you saw how fast that thing was shooting rounds. Now, this is what the gun was meant for. It was basically somewhat of a water gun, but it's more like just pellets because it literally just shoots Orbeez. And yeah, people have been having a little bit too much fun with this pellet gun because if you go on TikTok right now, you can find these videos of people doing some really crazy shit with this gun. Like, just look at this one. I never knew I was gonna have to say this, but I think I just witnessed a drive-by Orby shooting video. Like, I am genuinely confused. I mean, I understand that this is for, like, fun and everything, but, like, do you even know these kids? I'm guessing you probably do, but that's basically what I wanted to talk about next, is that the fact that it seems like people now with these guns, with these Orbeez guns that shoot the projectiles really fast, it seems like they're now going around just, like, shooting shooting at random people and doing random drive-bys with this Orbeez gun. And that's where this whole trend slash challenge takes a huge turn for the worse. Like in the beginning of this video, it was all fun and games. But now at this part of the video, I'm going to talk about what people have been doing with this that isn't good at all. And actually doing this stuff to random people can actually get you in trouble with the law. So let's just talk about it. So after this whole thing became a thing on TikTok, I don't know why people thought this would be a good idea or not but people thought it would be a good idea to just go find anyone who's on the street and just start firing this thing at them might i just ask why you thought this was a good idea it seems like nowadays people especially like younger people maybe gen z people don't seem to think before they do things and that's what gets them in trouble or they're trying to do something to look cool in front of their friends when they're really not like that's what i just don't understand about gen z and just teenagers in general like i'm a teenager 
teacher, I'm 18, but I know how to control myself. And I don't do this stupid shit because doing this can get you in big, big trouble. Now, I understand if it's your friend or it's your family member or whatever. Okay, go shoot them with this pellet gun. Whatever. No big deal. But yeah, when you start doing it to random people, that's the issue. Because it actually turns out that shooting this at random people can get you charges of assault. Because I mean, I know it's been confirmed that at least four teens have been charged after firing these at people. And actually, I just read up on something. Apparently, something else they've been doing is they have been freezing these pellets, these Orbeez, and then they would just shoot those. So, I mean, that just makes it 10 times worse. But at the same time, you have to have these people consent to basically be a part of what you are doing. If they're just randomly, like, going throughout their day, just minding their own business, and you just randomly come up and do, like, some drive-by Orbeez thing where you basically start shooting random strangers with Orbeez, especially if they're frozen, you can get charges. And it's not a very good idea, so just don't do it. Stay clear of it. And I mean, this also just comes down to just leave other people alone. Like, people you don't know alone. People who just are minding their own business, just leave them alone. Unless you want trouble from them. But yeah, I don't know what else to say, except for don't do this challenge, because if you do this challenge and you get arrested for it, and then you get stuff put on your record, and maybe some possible jail time for just being stupid, at the end of the day, it's just not worth it. And also, stop paying attention to the trends and the challenges and, like, social media and stuff like that. Like, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Just because somebody else does it doesn't mean you need to do it. Like, this might be a really bad example, but, like, if someone jumps off the cliff, please don't do it. Please don't follow what they're doing, regardless if they say, oh, you're gonna get a thousand dollars. Don't do the monkey see, the monkey do type shit. Don't do that. And also, stay away from Cloud, because Cloud is a drug, and it won't get you anything except for, I don't know, bad things? Because I know for a fact it's not gonna get you anything good. But yeah, besides that, I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you thought this video was informative and you got something out of it, make sure you hit the like button so it will get promoted more in the algorithm so more people can see this. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave them down in the comment section down below. And yeah, guys, stay away from TikTok challenges and trends. That's all I gotta say. My name is Brion, and I will see you in my next video. Peace. You fucking sheenies got out one of butt fuck them all. What did you mean? By oh that? my god! What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Bro, that penis is too big for you.